Hello again. Today's video is all about data capture. To get started, get logged into your Simple Booth dashboard and head on over to your App Presets tab. Once you're there, select your event and scroll down to the Data Capture tab. Click to turn it on, and then you'll see a couple of fields here, um, a heading and then um, the info section. This is where you can add in any text to populate your data capture window. Um, you can keep it simple, like enter your details to be part of your exclusive programs, or jazz it up a little bit, your decision. But just remember, you always have to let people know that you're collecting their data. My general recommendation is to just select one or two of these fields because people really want to get to their photo in the sending process. So I usually like to use email and phone number. You've also got, if you've got the premium Halo subscription, custom data capture fields. These are super useful because they give you a little bit more information about your users that are using your photo booth. You can add a text field here. Just hit the little plus button over to the side. And you can ask a question like, what's your Instagram handle? Another option is just a checkbox. This could be something as simple as, did you like this event? And then last but not least, you've also got required checkbox. This is re it's required that the user checks the box before they're able to send their photo. This could be something like, do you allow us to use you, your photo in marketing materials? That covers everything here for data capture. Let's pop over to the app and I'll show you how everything works. All right, guys, now that we've got all of our data capture information put into the Simple Booth dashboard, we'll check out how it works in the app. Let's get started by opening up your Halo 2 app, selecting your event. Next, we'll head on over to our data capture tab and make sure that one of your send options is checked or whatever um, information you'd like to collect. Just keep in mind that any of our custom data capture fields need to be put into the Simple Booth dashboard. They won't actually show up here in the app. Then hit launch. As you can see here, we'll have our tap to start screen. Tap it to get started. Wait for your countdown. And then from here, you'll have your edit options that you have turned on. We can add a filter here if we'd like, and then hit send. It's going to prompt our user for whatever information we've requested in our data capture. Hit next to collect that information. And then here's our custom data capture information. We'll plug in our Instagram handle as requested. There's the checkboxes that we made for, did you like this event? And do you allow us to use your photo in our marketing materials? You'll see if we select, did you like this event and try to submit, it's gonna not allow us to go forward because the, do you allow us to use your photo in our marketing materials is a required checkbox. So once we check that, we'll hit submit and it will allow us to send. If you wanna add another recipient, just hit add recipient. It's going to prompt them for another phone number. And we'll collect that information as well. And that's everything you need to know about data capture.